and this whole recording I think has been in the works for about four years, maybe five years from the point when we first started talking about it. Dominic had this idea, he said, you know, why don't we try to, let's do it at the school. This way the kids are going to be able to get a sense as to what a record, what it takes to make a record. Dominic and, and Tommy are among the most stalwart and loyal supporters of this institution and community college education. And we're so glad that they chose uh, Cuyahoga Community College for this endeavor. This is like where I went to school, you know, 15 years ago. And this is where I had most of my important musical training and, you know, in really the formative years. I think Dominic will tell you that that, look, that was probably the most influential, most wonderful thing for his, it shaped the way he thinks, the way he plays. And, uh, and we're here doing this recording now, this, this unbelievable thing. And like my trumpet teacher, Steve Enos, is like sitting in the recording booth listening, and still giving it advice. I, I'm so proud of Dom, you know, because I mean, I mean, right, you know, right from the from the first time I met him, I mean, I mean, he, he's had vision as far as what he what he wanted to do as a musician, even at an early age. I mean, he knew. I mean, I mean, I remember his mother telling me that you know, I think when he was a freshman in high school, he, he told her that he was that's what he was going to do the rest of his life. He was going to be a musician. You know, I mean, to know that at, at early of an age and to have that commitment, you know. It, you know, I'm, 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 I'm so proud of him, you know. Jacob, say something about a, a harmony. It is so lovely to see Dominic and Tommy. Um, their relationship, their musical relationship, their ties to the city. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, Tommy even said, Dom is like the son he never had. I mean, that's, that's a good story. It's a good story. I've known Tommy since I was 16, and it was my dream, you know, for 15 years to, to do a recording project like this. And now, you know, to actually be in the studio working on, on my own project here with him at his building is named after him and having the educational side, you know, as a, as a key component, which we're, we're both very passionate about education, couldn't be better. I wanted to make sure that we got specifically the musicians that we got. Every one of them are musicians, not only that are friends, dear friends for years, but they're at the absolute top end of their craft. I mean, uh, they're all the best of the best. This is Tommy's A-team, you know, with, with the great Steve Gadd. You know, the man's played on too many hit records to name. You know, Dean Parks, the same with him. Larry Goldings, it's really great to always play with these guys. We've had a chance to be a part of uh, many sessions together, and uh, it's great to be together again. We both pitched in. He came up with a few ideas, I came up with a few ideas, and we went through probably, I don't know, 25 or 35 songs to come up with 10. I think every song has its own kind of story, you know, and initially that's what I was looking at this project, is that each song is so different than the next, and it's almost his own storyline, his own little vignette, you know? And uh, um, I think we really kind of captured the mood of every single song. All the material is either very joyous or very beautiful. We're doing a lot of ballads and, you know, soft things, and those are all things that I love to, to do. I just wrote out a few chords on a on a piece of paper and we made copies of them. We all got in the studio and, you know, I just play on the piano any kind of thing, you know, I'm hearing in my head. And I play a couple of reference recordings and then Steve Gagg goes into his own thing. Christian is right there supporting him. Dean is playing his thing, Larry. And just, it, it all, every single song kind of organically developed into something, um, what I think is very special. critical um, educational um, element here. We're inviting students from all around the region to come and to be a part of it. Some of the recording arts students here at Tri-C are um, you know, involved. And 
I was in awe, to be honest, just to uh, be in the presence of Al Schmidt and knowing his background and to be in the presence of um, all those great musicians and just um, learning from those guys and just listening to the sound of the music. It was it's just wonderful. You know, I was jaw dropping, to be honest. I had to keep my jaw up. <laughs> I think the most important thing that we accomplished here is that students were able to get a chance to listen to and see how an actual record is made. The unique opportunities for these for these students to to uh, sort of be really be flies on the wall I think it's just just invaluable you know and I think it's it's just wonderful that that's part of Tommy's vision here you know it's a great great opportunity. I think it's brilliant that you know these students have been allowed to come here and and see how it's how it's really done and to learn from you know Tommy Lapuma and Al Schmidt you know two of the greatest most heralded veterans in the in the business that's something not even students in New York or Los Angeles I think have had a chance to experience in all of our discussions about the educational programs the musicians that came to do the project were all for it. It was completely genuine. No one complained about having to take part of their break time to do a workshop. They were completely into it, and I'm thankful for that. That made it all work. Have you ever thought about like double, like just double tracking? Like, like if you did like on the fourth, so just at the beginning with two parts. If you did, if you recorded both of them again, and just played them at the same time. Jacob Color, I think I think he's a genius. I've only met a few geniuses in my lifetime, but I think I think he's one of them. I thought the guy was so brilliant. He's a genius. There's no question in the fact he's a genius. Yeah, maybe start on concert F. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll do that one, yeah. Like more. a mariachi band, yeah. <laughs> I dig it, man. Tommy Lepimo is, 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 is a friend of mine. He sort of said, there's this cool project happening in Cleveland. For me, it's like a dream assignment, you know. I mean, the musicians are just out of this world. Um, so, to, you know, to, to see them and work with them is, is, is kind of second to none as an experience. It's nice to see Cleveland as well. It's a good place. He's very, very talented. You know, he's a wonderful player. He's so dedicated to what it is that he does. This, this is my first time working with Dominic, and I was, uh, I've blown away. To hear him play over these last couple of days is it's blowing my mind. He's just an incredible musician. He's just a special guy, and he's got a wonderful tone, and uh, he's one of the most talented musicians I've had the pleasure of working with. I feel that this record is kind of a culmination of, of all the different kinds of things I've been interested in over the years. And Tommy has, is a brilliant guy in like figuring out a way to just like bring all of these different elements that he knows that I'm so passionate about to really kind of bring them into focus and help to shape. Through that process of working with him, you know, it's really helped to, for me to really stand by this project and say, man, this is this is me, 110%, like right now, this is me.